Now, you might have read about the Motorcaddy S7 remote control trolley in a recent issue of Golf Monthly magazine. And we're lucky enough here today at Bishop Stalford Golf Club to have the first finished sample to review for you guys to check out uh, how it works and uh, whether it's any good or not. You're probably wondering, why should you consider getting a remote control trolley over your standard electric trolley or a push trolley? Well, there's a number of benefits. Firstly, it's fun to use. Secondly, there's a number of on-course benefits that are quite practical. So, for example, if you need to go and help your playing partners look for a ball in the rough, you can guide your trolley over to where your ball is so it's ready for your next shot. You can also move it around from the green to the next tee easy, easily. Um, and it's also the only motor caddy in the range for this year to have the downhill control function. So if you're going down a steep hill, this trolley will maintain the same speed rather than getting away from you like other electronic trolleys do. Now, much of the unique functionality of the S7 trolley comes from the remote itself. And what we have here is a dual pressure remote. So soft pushes of the left and right buttons result in gentle curves. Whereas if you push the button slightly harder, you get sharper turns to go around those sharper corners. Uh, you've obviously got your forward and back, so your plus and minus. The, the more you press the forward button, the quicker the trolley will go, and vice versa. When you hit the minus button, it will slow down, but it can also go in reverse as well. Um, what we also have here is the pause and resume button. So when you're coming up to your ball, you press your pause button, you play your shot, and then you come back to your remote, press the resume button, and the trolley will gently accelerate up to the speed it was at before. So there's no need to get back to it uh, manually, it'll automatically do that for you. One other unique feature of the remote is the functions that it has, and it's got two. And one of them is called tilt function. So if you hold down two buttons in a certain way like this, the, the function button and then the pause and resume button together, you activate this tilt function. And then what that does is it compensates for any lateral slopes that you're walking up. So if you're walking up a fairway that slopes significantly from right to left, the trolley will naturally fight that slope when this feature is activated. So moving on to the frame, some other features that are specific to use as a remote control trolley that are essential. We've got the anti-tip wheel here at the front, so if you're accelerating quickly or you're going uphill, the trolley won't tip over. We've also got this 360 degree self-writing wheel, which will always want to revert to straight, which is very useful. Another essential for this electric trolley for a motor caddy is the ability to switch from your remote control mode if they run out of battery or you lose the remote to manual mode, simply pre press down the uh, main button for one second and it will switch from your remote to your normal manual mode where you've got your, new, your usual nine speeds from one to nine. There are a few features that carry over from other S-series trolleys in the electric trolley range from Motor Caddy. We've got the quick fold uh, assembly process, so a couple of steps to uh, get your trolley up assembled nice and quickly. We've also got the easy lock base, so just uses two pins to slot your bag into your trolley, no, no need to have a, a lower bag strap or bending down to secure that. We've also got the USB charging port on the console and it also comes with a nice little pouch to put your remote in when you're uh, playing your shot. Moving down, the wheels on the Motor Caddy S7 trolley are slightly wider and they've also got a deeper tread, so that's going to help you get round corners and maintain control, but also course friendliness at the same time. Now, the battery is an 18-hole lithium battery. That's the only one that is available with this. And on the handset itself, we've got some safety features. So we've got a 50-meter range uh, from the handset to the trolley and also a 45-second uh, cutoff period. So if the handset hasn't been touched in that time, the trolley will stop. Uh, one, other, one other feature is the trim function. So if your bag is unevenly weighted and the trolley doesn't veer, doesn't track straight as you'd like it to, you can trim the power to one of the wheels uh, because the wheels are run off separate motors and that will help the trolley track straighter. Okay, so I've just been playing a few holes here at Bishop Stortford Golf Club with the Motor Caddy S7 remote control trolley. And I've got to say, very impressed with uh, how easy it was to navigate. You know, it does take a few holes to get used to using that remote and not trying to manually turn the trolley like you do with your standard electric trolley, especially because the wheels have got a lot of tread and they, it is very difficult to turn. I mean, the remote itself is very sensitive, uh, but it's very easy to use. Soon becomes second nature. You don't have to look at it after you've used it for a few holes because you do have these little pads that you can feel so you can navigate your fingers around it and you don't have to uh, look at it as you move. It's quite sensitive. Went off in my pocket a couple of times, but that was the only uh, qualm I've got with that. Overall, like I said, very easy to use. Found it especially useful 
when you're out of position coming into the green and the tee is on the other side of the green and you're on the, on the wrong side. So when you play your shot, you can move your, your trolley around and, and, get, and save some time that way. Also, when you're looking for your ball and it's not where you thought it was, it's 50 yards away from where you are, you can easily move your trolley to where you are rather than having to go back to your trolley, get your bag and come all the way back to your ball is. So a couple of really in, interesting points there that will save you time on the course and help eradicate eradicate slow play. So yeah, all, all in all, you know, if you're looking for a trolley with all the bells and whistles, uh, I really do recommend you give this a go. It retails at £799, so it's not cheap, but you do get a hell of a lot for your money with uh, the Motor Caddy S7 remote. And um, it, you know, it takes some getting used to, but once you, it will become second nature and you will enjoy using it, so well worth a go.